Well, good day YouTube and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. Here's a beer that I have never gotten a chance to try even though it's been out a couple times. A few years they weren't making enough of it or weren't sending enough of it to different places so I never got a chance to try it. And now I have a chance and yeah. This is Creamore Springs Brewery's limited edition Oktoberfest beer which is 5.4% alcohol. It's in a 625 milliliter bottle, um, basically the same bottles I used to use for uh, for the Beer Academy. I don't know if Batch uses the 625s now, but just like the Beer Academy, what they have on here now, Beer Academy being another craft craft brewery that was owned by uh, by Molson Coors, is they have over here they have its style, which is an Oktoberfest, though that's more like a I guess a Marzen or something. Uh, it'll say color, caramel, and then it has all the different glass shapes, and it shows you which glass to use. Uh, best served in this glass, and the glass is just a tankard, like a handle mug, straight walled. Not what we have. But what do we have here? We have a like a Weiss glass, a footed uh, footed Pilsner glass, a f a uh, Bruegel. No, not a Bruegel. Sorry. Uh, Actually, the same type as uh, as the innocent gun glass, the just uh, stemware glass that kind of looks like a uh, oh, I don't even know what it's called there. Regular shaker, regular pilsner, and then just the two uh, the two footed guys, and then the beer mug. So yeah, uh, traditional. Uh, Traditionalists would never would would serve this in a stein, is what it says. And uh, yeah, I don't have this bottle cap, so we're gonna save it. It is basically just the uh, the Creamore Springs building. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it, but it's basically just the Creamore Springs brewing building in Creamore Springs. So we'll put it up there with the other caps that have to go on the fridge. Let's pour it. For my Oktoberfest, so at least they took something from uh, from closing down uh, the beer academy, and that was the labels. The labels had a lot of awesome stuff on there. They ex they trained you a little bit. It was a beer academy. They taught you a little bit. Yeah, and there we go beautiful bright white head, it's fading pretty quickly big snap crackle pop not much carbonation moving in there but there is some uh, crystal clear, I can see my hand way out here I can see my hand uh, yeah, I guess I would give that a caramel color I guess I could agree with that nice looking beer visually, is the beer appealing? I think it's appealing but I mean most Oktoberfest beers to me are just boring in, uh, in flavor and profile but visually, she's appealing. Scent. You just get that, uh, that average Marzen Oktoberfest beer scent, but it's more, it's more like the scent that you would get from a actual European one. It kind of comes off, uh, a bit of caramel, bit of sweetness, bit of mustiness. Do you ever stop licking yourself? Like, ever? Do you ever stop licking yourself? I don't think you do. I think your entire life is licking yourself, or licking somebody's sandals, or their shoes, or a pair of underwear that you find, or their sh pants, or uh, just anything disgusting. Lick your crotch, or lick somebody, or lick something that a human crotch was in. That's, that's basically your life. Not you guys, I'm talking to the dog. He's looking at me now. Oh, now he's going back to his balls. Okay, let's try the beer. Cheers. It's boring, but it's very drinkable.
It's soft, it's smooth, it's wet, it's very drinkable. I actually can't say I dislike it. I just also can't say that I love it. And I mean, that's that's how a lot of these beers go, right? Especially this style of beer, for me at least. Um, Pilsners, Kolsch's, Marzins, uh, sometimes a Bach. Uh, just, just your uh, American adjunct lager, light American adjunct lager. Um, all those beers that have a good deal of quality similar just don't really do much for me. I, I, I like to find ones that are drinkable. Cream ales, I mean, the, the list goes on. There's so many beers out there that have quite alt beers. Um, <laughs> there, there is a list that I, I, I could probably keep finding things, uh, but there, there is a list of beers that have a lot of similar qualities. Uh, they are all different, but they have a lot of similar qualities, and they're just not things that I'm a big fan of. But sometimes you do find some really nice beers in there. Is this a really nice beer? It's nice. Caramel. And bready biscuitiness. A little bit of butterscotch, too. A little bit of butterscotch. It doesn't taste like uh, off flavor butter, but uh, it tastes like it tastes like butterscotch. Almost Werther's original. That's sweet. That sweet butterscotchy flavor. It's a very nice beer. It is a very nice beer. I can't take that away from it. It is a very nice beer. There is a little bit of a, a grassy, earthy hop bitterness that hits right at the very back of the tongue. And a few seconds after you're done sipping, too, it just kind of comes back up your throat. Um, it's a nice beer. It's a nice Marzen. A nice Oktoberfest. It's a nice beer for Oktoberfest. You get this thing cold, you could just pound them back. And, I mean, that that's what it comes down to. Is this a beer that you could pound back? Sure, it's a beer you could pound back. Is it a beer that's immensely complex and full of flavor? No, but no, you don't always want that. Out of 10 on it, probably give it a 625. I actually enjoy it. Uh, sorry, I, I'm a 725 is what I meant to say. A 625 is, is I wouldn't buy it again. But I, I actually could see myself buying this again but only when I'm really in the mood for it. And uh, for that, it, that's not going to happen very often, but it could, because this is a solid enough beer that I could drink. So 7 to 5 out of 10 for the Creamore Springs Oktoberfest. It's a solid drinking beer. Thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful evening. Au revoir. I'll be on toast. See you soon. Bye-bye. Cheerio. Bye.